This video will cover the topic, Power of a Power Rule, with negative exponents. When simplifying an expression that contains a power of a power, we multiply the interior power by the exterior power. Does this apply for negative exponents? This rule applies even when one of the exponents is negative. For example, x to the minus 1 raised to the second power equals x to the negative 2, which is equal to 1 over x squared. x to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over x squared because a negative exponent means that the expression should be written in the denominator instead of in the numerator. Thus, when it is moved to the denominator, the exponent becomes positive. That still isn't clear. Can we look at an example? Sure. Let's look at an example. y to the negative 3 raised to the second power. So the first step to solve this problem would be to multiply negative 3 and 2, right? Exactly. So, what is our solution so far? y to the negative 6 is our answer. That's right. y to the negative 3 times 2 equals y to the negative 6. However, can we simplify this further? Yeah, I know that our final answer can't have a negative exponent, but how do we simplify further? y to the minus 6 equals 1 over y to the 6. Every number can be rewritten as a fraction over 1, but since y to the minus 6 is more practical to write, then y to the minus 6 over 1, or 23 is more practical to write than 23 over 1, we omit the redundant fraction. However, if we are simplifying a term with a negative exponent, we need to remember that it is actually in the numerator of a fraction. So to simplify, we move that term to the denominator and change the sign of the exponent. If the term is a negative exponent in the denominator, then move it to the numerator and make the exponent positive. And if it is a negative exponent in the numerator, move it to the denominator and make the exponent positive. In this case, we have a negative exponent in the numerator. So we move y to the minus 6 to the denominator. Then convert the negative exponent to a positive exponent, which results in an answer of 1 over y to the 6th. So for this type of problem, we multiply the two exponents together and then simplify the expression as much as we can, right? That's right. 